Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Hogwarts Legacy. Where we left off last time, we were exploring the school, we're going to be continuing doing that. And maybe we'll work on the Ronin's assignment, because we do want to get to Hogsmeade eventually. Actually, maybe that's what we'll do in this video. We're going to go to Hogsmeade. Let's go to Ronin's assignment here. What does he want? Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the Mending Charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Ropero in no time. What's the purpose of the tasks? Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. I don't think Such they will. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll complete the tasks, though, because that is my I'll job. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. What's my task? Collect the flying page near the broken statue. Where's Accio? All right, we have Accio on our bar. I guess we only have one bar currently. Accio. I saw it. Damn it, I missed. Yoink. Got it. Uh, near against the Dark Arts Tower. Over here somewhere, apparently. Yoink. Done. I trust the preliminary. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Alrighty. Remember. Oh, this is a weird circle you want. Okay. Of your magic. Oh, we are going real slow. There we go. Come on. That was closer than I would have liked, but fair enough. We got it done. Now we have Reparo. Reparo. Nicely done. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It's already it done. allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out Revelio. That's not a ding, so I don't care. All right, uh, now we can go deal. Oh, we, one of the two assignments are done. That's a challenge thing. We can go to. We're gonna do the main quest. I want to go get our equipment for school. Also, we can get to Hogsmeade and sell some things before we get too much stuff in our inventory. Just doing some. School parkour. Apparently we can't roll when we hit the ground. Mm -hmm. That is unfortunate. Oh, Hello. hi Natty. Looking for me? Yes, actually. But let me just quickly check my gear situation out. Bad. All of it's bad so far. Let's just... Uh, Go through all the rest of it and make sure. Oh, we have a new uniform. That's slightly better. Cool. All right, let's roll. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. I do. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. All right, let's roll.
we now finally get to see the grounds of Hogwarts. At least some of them, a little bit. Do I have to stay close to her? I, I wonder. was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Nope, really? definitely need to stay close, okay. Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. Shortcut. Cross the fountain. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Sounds more like a mandatory course, honestly, at that point. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Me too. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. I did, and I still hate the snow. I would much rather have any other time of year. Oh, wait, over here. Rebellion. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? Potion stuff. They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. I'm not gonna lie, stewing insects sounds a little horrible. Look! From the Forbidden Forest! Hippogriffs! I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. He's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. Likely already named. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Let me just go grab that flu over here. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it's too it. dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. It does. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. There's hogs meeting. See in the distance there. It's a bit of a walk, but eventually we'll hear we'll get a broom, and then it's very close by. Also, you can just go to the flu networks that are in the town, so it's very easy to get to. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that. Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say. Well, I certainly learn a great deal in class. Much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Turns out I cannot stop a carriage by walking in front of it. The Thestrals did not care. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. That's fine. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here, too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you, too. So, I shot some things there. The, the crystals, they're called Mr. Moonstone. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? It's a little drunk. Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. Huh? I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Okay. Goodbye, drunk oh, guy. Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. Moonstone, though. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. It is useful a little bit later in the Maybe game. There. You'll find out. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. That's true. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Yeah, we'll get, there's a place to spend Moonstone in the future. We're going to need a bunch of it, so it doesn't hurt to go looking and around for it. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. 
I know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spell crafts, some seeds, and... A wand. A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivanza. And I am keen sure to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Cool beans. All right, let's go do our wand first. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Yes, thank you. I understand. Map. Turn off the map. I know where we're kind of going. First of all, there's usually pages flying around to the city. Let's go to Spellcrafts first. It's actually right here. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts, Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. Hi, Thomas. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spell crafts you need. A yes, potting please. table and a potion station. Yes? Yep. I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want when you want. Let's have a look. Okay. Let's look at what we have, shall we? So we're going to grab a potting table with a small pot spell craft. <clears throat> and a small potion station spell craft. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Should I go ahead and sell all this stuff? We don't have a whole lot of money. Okay, so we got some things to look at in here. First of all, we're going to interact with this book to open the staircase. Revelio. I think there's something over here. Enchanted Staircase. This enchanted staircase in tomes and scrolls reveals itself when a particular book is moved. The proprietor here, Thomas Brown, sells a variety of written products, including spellcrafts handy for conjuration. There's chests in the back too. But we're going to go to this one up here first. We get a Wigan Weld Potion. Important. And we're going to head this way. Revelio. So there's another I one we can't do. There is also a Demiguy statue. We can't do those yet, though, but that's how we're going to get Alohomora later on in the game. Just as a heads up, that exists. Now we're going to head across the way to here. There's another one of these things. Suridwin's Precarious Cauldrons. This precariously stacked stead of cauldrons outside Suridwin's advertises the shop's wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye-catching, is ill-advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effect. There's another chest over here, I see. Snag that one. Revelio. Doesn't hurt to go looking around the town. There's locks that we can't get into yet. And, uh, oh, there's a page. Grab that. Some experience. Another eye. Revelio. One, but there is a Lumos here. Lumos. We're now level eight. Uh, it looks like it's on a dock area, which I think I know where it is. But I think this is the wrong way to go. I guess I can go this way. There it is. Sometimes you have to re-Lumos for it to follow you. I don't know why. Uh. It takes to keep a 
Excuse me, people. Let's go around here. Uh, if you jump over this and end up having to climb the wall, you'll lose Lumos and the thing will go flooding away. So, just take the gate opening. It's way easier. Give me your page. 80 experience. Is there anything else over here? I, should check. I see something flying. Oh, that's a bird. Okay. Don't care about the bird too much. Something close by here. Mounted Head's ho Hog's Head. The Mounted Hog's Head rolls its eyes and snuffles its nose as it oversees the seedy atmosphere and decidedly interesting clientele of the Hog's Head. This is a bar, obviously. Revelio. It's a little, like, a uh, sketchier version of the inns in town. I think it's this way. Whatever is blinging is over this way somewhere. We're gonna find it. Maybe this way? I think I saw it. No, I saw it. I went the wrong way. Here we go. Hogshead Docks. These docks outside the Hogshead Inn offer a pleasant place to sit and relax, if one can do so while it's only a stone's throw from whatever nefarious goings-on may be occurring in the notorious shade, notoriously shady inn. Gonna go ahead and steal that money. We need as much money as we can get. We're not gonna be spending a ton of it, at least not initially, but... Rebellion. We're gonna need money eventually. There's a flu network. Let's grab that. That's the potion. Well, I guess we can go to the potion shop. We're here. Welcome we might as well. Pippin's potions. Hello. J. Pippin's potions. Established 1753 is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. I'm also going to snag whatever is in here. A rugged fedora. We should probably put on the better gear we picked up. Well, it's not that. It is that. And it is this. Looks very dumb, so let's just uh, fix that up. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well... Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion-making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and... I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Yes, I'm not going to buy any I of your stuff you yet. Today? We'll just buy this and this. We're going to need all these other potion recipes Feel free later to take for other a look things. At the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I am in a bit of a rush today. We are not Revelio. buying your stuff right now because we don't have the money. We are poor. We're poor students. Uh, all of these are locks. We can't open them yet, so we're not going to worry about them at all. I think I missed a cat earlier, but that's okay. We'll make up for it with this cat. It's important to pet the cats. Not for any gameplay mechanics, but just because it's a nice thing to do. Rebellion. There's a bling near here somewhere. Might be inside, actually. Inside Zonko's for sure. Like right here somewhere. Oh, there's one there. 
Frog Spawn Soap, an amphibious surprise waits anyone who tries to wash with this particular bar of soap. Once submerged in water, a cohort of wriggling tadpoles hatches right out of the suds. Horrifying. Why would you make that? It's gotta be right out here somewhere. Revelio. There it is. Frequented regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike, Zonko's is the place to buy pranks and jokes in Hogsmeade. I saw something. Takio. That's what I saw. Revelio. There's a lot of these things in here, like the pages. Let's go upstairs. It's over there somewhere. Right there, I see it. Dung Bomb. A favorite among pranksters, the Dung Bomb produces a foul odor causing anyone in the vicinity to evacuate post haste. Hmm, it's not here. Might be downstairs. Probably downstairs somewhere. One of the things has it. Let's find out. Maybe it's not in here. Maybe it's outside. Anyways, there's lots of things at Zonko's. It's there. I see it. Butterbeer barrels. These barrels contain the popular wizarding drink, Butterbeer. It's served both cold and hot, and has a slight alcoholic content that seems to impact house elves much more than humans. Revelio. Let's go to Ollivander's. We might as well get our wand underway. Never remember where his shop is, though. You only really go to it one time. I wonder if you can go to it more times to like modify your wand. You can steal a crimson Ma mystic ensemble. Let's see what we got. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivander's, I'm sure. I have. The finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm... Uh... No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, <laughs> this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um... Where are you? Perhaps you need to fix your shelves. You? They're like on a weird angle. Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. And this is where we get to craft our own wand. Let's make it our own. First of all, let's pick a style. Curious indeed.
Okay, so we can have the notched version, the classic gray, How or classic, I guess. Uh, soft spiral, spiral, stock, ringed, crooked, or natural. Curious indeed. I think I might go with this one. Maybe not. Let's keep going through them and find How intriguing. A, find a cool looking one. Curious indeed. Alright, I think I want to go with the bone looking one. The natural. Let's take a look at other colors. I think that one's pretty cool. The natural gray. I think we can change it a little bit. We can change the wood type. How intriguing. I don't know if it matters, but let's go with ebony. Let's make it long. 14 and a half inches. Nice. Flexibility. Unyielding. Curious indeed. And wand core options. So we can do Dragon Heartstring. It serves as the core of the wand, known for producing powerful magic, consistent magic for the unicorn hair, and great range of magic for the phoenix feather. Dragon, dragon Heartstring, heart for sure. Wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Or about that power. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Cool beans. Also, I think that means we are allowed to use our wand handles, which we have one. We have avian gray. Yeah, okay. I'll put it on. Why not? <laughs> Shoot open the door. Ollivander's Wand Shop. Wands of a variety of woods and all manner of flexibility, each possessing one of three magical cores. Choose their owners in this cozy, cluttered shop run by the amiable and knowledgeable Garibald Ollivander. In the profession of wandcraft since 382 BC, the Ollivander family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. We're level 9. There's a bling somewhere. Where are you? Revelio. It's over this way somewhere. It's over this way somewhere. Ah, I see it's by the fireplace. The Three Broomsticks, run, currently run by Serona Ryan, and allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself, the Three Broomsticks is the long-standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or fire whiskey. But we're not going to go in here yet. There's not too much to do in here, and I do want to finish up our quest, although I think we're out of time on this video. So what we might do is call it here. we got our wand. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time, and we will head off into the Great Unknown. Mostly, you know, the Magic Neep where we need to go still, and we also need to hit up, uh, I believe... You know what? I don't remember which one. One of the places... Just the Magic Deep. Maybe we'll hold off on the Magic Deep till we explore more of the town. There's more to look around at. There's a lot of field guide pages. We can't do demi guide statues yet. Uh, we can do collection chests, I believe. Unless those are the eye ones, and I can't remember which, if they are or not. Anyways, take care. See you next time.